Tonight's guest are actress Jennifer Edwards and actor Chris Lennon. And here he is, the man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Jennifer Edwards, tell me. Hollywood, you've been around here for a long time. Mm -hmm. Chris Lemon. I mean, Chris Lemon, Jack Lemon's son, Chris, you know, uh, Jennifer Edwards, Blake Edwards' daughter. Has it been difficult for you two? You want to I jump mean, on that? Yeah, go ahead. I just want to ask that real quick before we do anything. Uh, I think there are times, there were times where it was difficult. Uh, my father's always been a very controversial man in Hollywood, and uh, there have been some incidences where I've lost roles. There has? Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, they've come back about a few months later where I've actually heard that somebody said, well, it was Blake's daughter, and that's why she didn't get the role. Um, but uh, all in all, I think uh, he's come out of that. People mm -hmm. really realize that he is... Uh, even though he may be controversial, yes. that he's a fabulous filmmaker. He certainly is. And, uh, and Heidi, that's, remember that movie, oh, Heidi sure. with Heidi? Tell me about Heidi. You were a little girl in Heidi. I and, was but you proved your own talent in that. Mm -hmm. Your dad didn't have nothing to do mm -hmm. with that. No, no. Tell me about that first, Chris. Well, um, it was, uh, I was 10 years old, and I was visiting my father on the set of the party, uh, and uh, somebody saw me uh -huh. and found out who I was and called my father and said, uh, we've been looking for Heidi uh -huh. you know, all around the United States, and uh, we'd like to test your daughter. And he said, well, you know, she's never had any acting experience. And they said, well, we'd just like to test her anyway. Uh, could she come in for a reading? So I went in for a reading, and the reading then became a screen test a week later. Uh -huh. um, my father had heard that they tested like 1,500 girls, and he just figured that mm -hmm. me never having done anything, I probably wouldn't get it. And after I screen tested, it was about four days, and they called and said uh, we wanted her to do it. And from that moment on, I knew uh, that I wanted to Charming role. I saw it. It was yeah. lovely. It was a lovely role. Thank you. Chris Lemon, your career started. But, I mean... Well, I also screen tested for Heidi, but unfortunately, <laughs> I was one of the... I just, it was no chance. I'm, uh, you know, uh -huh. Jennifer had me all the way out. Oh, she's sticking her tongue out at me again. Come mm -hmm. on, Chris Lemon. She's in court. Miami right Beach, University, Music Classical. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, boy, yeah. people don't know Chris Lemon really plays that piano, and I mean classical. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully they will soon. I, I've just finished writing a piece for piano, a suite, a suite of songs for piano called Movie Music uh -huh. that uh, is going to be published hopefully sometime this year, mm -hmm. and also a small orchestral piece called The Western. Mm -hmm. So maybe they'll hear me out there. I hope. I've certainly. Well, they're going to hear a lot about you now. This new movie, That's Life. Yeah. Oh. What reviews today in the Hollywood Reporter? It's just, it's just been, been phenomenal for all of us because we, we, we put so much love and we care so much about this project. We put so much love into it. To have that kind of, of reaction from the critics and from the public is, is just you know, innovating. Working yeah. with your father, I mean, that must be exciting. Chris, come on, I see that twinkle in your eye. Well, it was. That it must was. be exciting. We have, we have a marvelous rapport off, off screen, and, uh -huh. and we share a lot of marvelous time together, and uh, we go fishing together, go golfing together, and, and it, it was marvelous to be able to, to really sit down in a work situation and, and explore those areas, explore why it's so fun to be together, explore why we have such a good relationship, because after all, that's you know, something you have to do if we're going to play father and son in a film. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, was, it was a hoot. It really was. It was just one of the most wonderful, comfortable, and enervating working situations I've ever been in. That was your dream, wasn't it? It really was. It was a lot of fun. How was it working with him? With Chris? It was yeah. great. I mean, we have a lot of fond memories of when we were kids, yes. you know. And you grew up together, huh? Yeah, pretty right. much, until yeah. I was about eight. And uh, so it was very easy to, to, to feel like brother and sister, I think, because we had a past. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because we were kids together, so it was easy to kind of imagine growing up uh, mm -hmm. together as brother and sister. Mm -hmm which helped a lot. And despite the fact that she's impossible to work and with. Uh, we you just know, love each yeah, other. Yeah, we don't that. get along at all well. Uh -huh. Do you live here, Chris? What? Do you live here in Hollywood now? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I live in Westwood. You do? You're married? or No, nope. single, single guy. Single? Mm -hmm. But you're married, Jennifer. Yes. You? And you have ch a children? A ten-year-old daughter. Ten-year-old. Mm -hmm. How lovely. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be in the business, too? No. I hope not. <laughs> no, she hasn't shown any signs. She gets very bored when I'm working. You know, uh -huh. she doesn't even want to hear about what I'm doing or... 
anything really. After she knows basically who I'm working with and stuff, it's like, oh, okay. It's Tell me about this movie, That's Life. I really want to know something about that movie. Well, I mean, it's, it's the reviews really are so great right now. It's going to be a dynamite. What's what's it about? The catchphrase on it, um, which is, is a film about the frailty of the human condition, I think is, is the best way to describe it in one sentence. What it really is about is a family and how and they come to terms. Lots of oh, yeah, I'll tell you in all sorts of sentences. Uh -huh. um, you know, I'll give you 50 minutes on hello. But, <laughs> no, it's just a family that comes to terms with the fact that, um, how, do you, how do you say this? It's usually, you said it even better, but you always hurt the one you shove, uh -huh. which is Jennifer's line. Um, you feel so comfortable and so at ease with, with other family members, and you trust them so much Sometimes, th for that reason, you tend to ignore them and ignore mm -hmm. their wants and their needs and their desires. And, and you don't know what's happening, uh, something that might be under your nose. I mean, something that is very obvious to an outsider, mm -hmm. you know. And the fact that we tend to take people for granted, granted especially yeah. people that we care about. Mm -hmm. And it kind of uh, proves that a lot in this movie. Mm -hmm. Also, I think it's, it, it's a wonderful film in the fact that maybe a lot of families out there, I know sometimes people will come up to me and say, you know, did you ha do you have a good relationship with your dad? And I tell them, yeah, we have a wonderful relationship. We're very close. And you we do. Spend, you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we really do. Mm -hmm. We spend a lot of quality time together. And, and I see this sort of faraway sad look in, in the person's eyes, and he says, you know, I was never able to talk with my dad. And it's, it's, it's so sad because it's, it's really the most wonderful relationship, the family relationship, the husband-wife relationship, yes. and, and parent-sibling that you can have. And, and my God, these poor people are missing out on the most informative and, and magnificent relationship that God can give them on this planet. And um, it, hopefully maybe this film will answer a few questions for people like that. Tell me something. On the set. What funny little thing happened on that set of that movie? I about the cufflinks. Oh, Jen 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 Jennifer's got the stories. Come on, Jennifer. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. The only reason why I know it so well is because it was during a scene that I was doing with Jack and with uh, Julie. Julie Andrews. Uh, yes, uh -huh. and it takes place in the dressing room, mm -hmm. and we really didn't know what we were going to do before shooting the scene, so we rehearsed it and figured it out. And the scene starts off with Jack saying, "Darling, where are my cufflinks?" And she says, well, they're in the top drawer. And he says, no, they're not in the top drawer. Anyway, um, because we didn't really realize what we were going to do, wardrobe was not prepared uh -huh. with cufflinks. And because this movie was shot in my father and Julie's house, my father said, oh, no problem. I, I'll lend Jack my cufflinks. Proceeded to walk into his dressing room. We heard drawers banging around. He said, darling, where are my cufflinks? And Julie said, they're in the second drawer with your watches. He said, no, they're not. They're not in this drawer. She said, yes, they are in it. And the whole crew was just standing around, aghast at the fact that uh -huh. they were doing the, the scene. scene. The scene, yes. That we were just about to shoot. It was funny. very eerie. <laughs> was it one more? Blake Edwards. Blake Edwards always used set, uh, sets. It's, it's home or it's different. Tell me about that. I mean, he shoots it in his home, and he did something on the, uh, with the other one, too, well, SLB? Well, on or? SLB, he built a house that was actually on his beach. Mm -hmm. It was down on the pad below yes. his house. Uh -huh. But he's never actually shot in his own home before. Mm -hmm. um, the SLB house was close, in a yeah. sense, because uh -huh. all he had to do was walk out his front door, front door yes. and uh -huh. walk down the hill, and he was you know, ready that's, to shoot. That's kind of fun. No, it's yeah. great for him. Yeah. Tell me about your dad. Is it hard to, uh, to oh, is it hard to uh, work with your dad? Was it? No, not at all. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm his his daughter. Mm -hmm. um, I know from other actors who've worked with him uh, that he just he's just a very special director. He gives uh, everything to his actors. He will pretty much let you go. At the, the beginning. Yes. Yes, oh at yeah. the beginning. He lets you go at the beginning, exactly. and then if he likes it, then he'll exactly. keep it in. Exactly. Is that how you felt? Uh, yeah, I, I think Blake is very smart in the fact that he seems to have an incredible overview of, ah. of a film, uh, much more so than I've ever seen um, in, in my limited experience as an yes. actor, as ever seen a director have. And I think when he does his casting, he's very, very careful about who he casts. And he makes sure that he gets people that are going to give him what he needs and what he, he wants. And what he knows It's not just the type, the look. It's not just the look. He no. never goes no. for a look. No. Say that again, Jennifer. He never goes for a look. Well, uh, why is that, Jennifer? Is there, I mean, there, everyone around town says they go for the look. Now you're well, saying yeah, something... Yeah, he just doesn't. He, in fact, uh, he goes for... I guess he goes for an overall, uh -huh. uh, but basically he'll go for a talent, talent. long before yeah. that's, a look. I mean, I've seen things written 
-hmm. where he'll actually have a, f a physical type in his script and go completely the opposite way with his casting. Mm -hmm. If he yeah, finds the right person mm -hmm. and he just feels the, a quality in a person, then he'll, he'll go with that rather than a look. Mm -hmm. TV is more, I think, caters more to a quote-unquote look. Yes, yes. More so than, than film. Do you like television, too? I love television, you but I tend not to have the look for television. Why do you say that? Because that's I what really you happens. Think so? mm -hmm. And how about you, Chris? Do you do TV work at Can all? Can I plead the Fifth Amendment? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do TV. Is that a TV? No, work? no, not at all. I'd, I'd, I'd be more than happy to happy to do TV if it's a good project and if it's with good people. Um, I think a lot of times government gets in the way of of good television yeah. television production. Yeah. Pardon me, in this town, and uh, for that reason, I tend to steer clear of a lot of it. But uh, with the right people in the right situation, I'd be more than happy to do it. Mm -hmm. Chris Lemon, tell me about your days in Florida. Come oh, on. well, you, you must my, mother is, my mother is the most wonderful person in the face of the earth and my truly most favorite person. Your mother, and tell me about She's my mother. biggest fan. Her name is Cynthia Stone. Her maiden name is Cynthia Stone. Her married name is Cynthia McDougall. She um, was married to my father and worked, well, worked with him before she was married uh, to him for many, many years in, in the old live TV days right. in New York. And I, they did, I was just told five, I remember three of them, three series together, kinescope series. One was called Heavens for Betsy, the other one was called Couple Next Door, and the other one was called What a Wonderful Guy. Seen them all. Uh, oh, really? Have seen you? Them all. Oh, my they're goodness. Wonderful. Well, I haven't seen any of them, so you, you should no, tell me about them. them. Yes, they're wonderful. Oh, they God. Them. Well, they're starring wonderful. Cynthia Stone and Jack mm -hmm. Lemon. And uh, they were married and had me. Remain great friends to this day, and and so there's a, a lovely rapport and relationship going on between all our family members, which are somewhat extensive. How many brothers and sisters? Oh God! Well, how many? How many? Well, I've got Courtney Lemon by my uh, father and Felicia, and uh, Stephanie Robinson by my mother and Cliff Robinson, uh, and Robbie McDougal, Cree McDougal, Ginger McDougal God. from uh, who are Ben's kids, and uh, oh yeah, lots of Irish, Irish and Scottish going on uh -huh. there, and uh, Denise Farr from uh -huh. from Felicia's first marriage before uh -huh. she married Pop. So there's uh, one stepbrother, two half sisters, and three step four stepsisters. Uh -huh. I many, did it. How many do you have? I mean, brothers and sisters. I have sister? a natural brother. Uh -huh. He's three years younger, and then my stepsister Emma, mm -hmm. who is also in that's life, and two adopted. Well, you're, she's sisters. in the movie also. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. How is she? Oh, she's, yeah. She's, she's yeah. wonderful. She's well. great. Yes. Yeah. How wonderful. Who's in the film now? Jack Lemmon, Julie Andrews, mm -hmm. Bob Sally, Rosia, Sally Kellerman. Sally Bob Kellerman. Rosia. She's wonderful. Yep. And Bob uh, Rosia. Right. Right. Uh, Chris, Got a great cast, Emma, great mm -hmm. cast. Mm -hmm. Well, can we show a clip from this now? Sure. Drinking and you name it, I'm giving it up. God, you look great. Thank you. I'll get us the coffee. Mm -hmm. Her tea, please. Yes. In fact, I was dancing up until a couple of weeks ago, and it was even on point up until my fifth month. I look pretty stupid, too. <laughs> in fact, Larry took a picture of me in a tutu, they came up to about here, and I looked like one of those hippos and fantasias. That's <laughs> Larry. He's frustrated. I also gave up sex. Uh, ladies, you like something to eat? Oh, yeah. How about a seafood salad? Yeah. All right, Why one seafood mean? salad coming Thank up. You. Okay. Well, Josh just called me. He said, I'm coming to the hotel. Okay. Fanny. Fanny? <laughs> Fanny. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you see that interview with the guy? Yeah, wasn't that great? I think he comes off really well. Mm, thanks. I think he's going to be a thank you, big star. Mm. Fanny walks up to him with a character question. The old guy down the road now thinks it's his cue. He starts riding like a bat out of hell. Fanny and the director are oblivious to all this because they're having an in-depth discussion. Mm -hmm. Me and the rest of the guys are going crazy off camera because the AD is running as fast as he possibly can, waddling down the middle of the road after this guy screaming, Stop! Stop! The guy isn't going to stop because he can't hear a thing. Yeah, he, he, go ahead. It's about 10 or 15 minutes later. The director's ready with the shot and everything. He says, Okay, let's get everything. Where's the guy with, with, with the bicycle? The AD walks up to me and says, well, um, uh, he, he went home. But he said it was a pleasure working with you. No. Chris. Chris Lemon and Jennifer, that was really very interesting. That was the dining room scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was quite good. Very, very good.
What other movies are you doing right now? You have something else coming yeah, up. Yeah, I have a, uh, Bert Covey made his directorial debut, and I'm starring with Lloyd Bridges in a new film called Weekend Warriors, which uh -huh. opens up October 26th, I think it is. My mom's um, birthday. Is that your mom's birthday? Oh, well, that's, that's a good omen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and tell me about movie. yours, Jennifer. You have, you have, you have I one, I have too. a romantic comedy coming out at the beginning of the year called The Perfect Match. Oh. And Who's uh, in that? Mark McClure oh. plays Jimmy Olsen in all the Superman movies. God, you two guys are busy, aren't you? Mm. I mean, really busy. Not busy enough. Yeah, no. If you had one wish right now, Jennifer mm -hmm. Edwards, mm -hmm. what could you ask for? Come on. One wish Work right wise? now. Work-wise? No, just a wish in your life. You know, you grew up in Hollywood. Yeah. Both of you people. You know, let's face it, uh, you really are Hollywood. Yeah. What I, think, I think my, my ultimate wish is just to always have my health and my child's health and my husband's health. I mean, that's ultimately, I think. You seem both happy. Oh, yeah. Two very happy actors and grew up very, very, you know, just grew up great. It's just, uh, they say Hollywood kids, you know. We had good we parents. We two Hollywood. Yeah. So we had very, very good parents. And yes. I think that has a lot to do with it. Definitely. It does, doesn't it? The parents who talk to us, you know, they, they, there would be nothing without communication, I don't think. And, uh, I mean, even when I didn't want to talk as a kid, my parents would make me talk. Oh, and right. I, oh yeah. And I think for a lot of people out there, that's this this film, that's life, is is going to imbue that and and certainly resonate that. Um, and anybody who who has trouble in a you know, I mean, it's what's the best way to put this? I mean, Harvey Harvey Fairchild and Gillian Fairchild and the three kids, and the way they interact in this film. Um, it might be very, very informative to some people out there that are having a little bit of trouble, maybe in their family lives, and they'll be able to glimpse a little bit of themselves in this film. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, that's what we've done. You know, hopefully, that's the, the the bonus that came out of making this film. If you had one wish to make, if I had one wish, one wish right now, it's Chris Lemon. Early snows at Mammoth. <laughs> Early snows at you Mammoth. Like I am it, chomping right? at the bit. You I need to get it. up to. I got to get to the Cornish Bowl. <laughs> Days run. You know, here it is. <laughs> Spring. Right there, mammoth <laughs> spring. Got to get up there. Early snows, and I'll be a happy boy. I like snow too. I really do. I love New York, though. Jack New York. Do you oh guys yeah. go to New York? Sure. Oh, well, we were just there. Yeah. Promotion. For promoting yeah. the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's 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 a great city, New York. Yeah, really. I yeah. really. I love it. I just it's something different to get away. Mm -hmm. I just enjoy it. Did you study acting, Chris? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, I, studied, study? I studied with my father's teacher, who, who unfortunately passed away a few years ago, David Alexander. I studied techniques and scene study with him. Uh -huh. And I uh, also studied with, with Harvey Lembeck, who oh, also he just unfortunately died. Yeah, yeah, a couple of years ago. He was, he was the king. I understand his daughter took over. Yeah, Helene and Michael, I think, are yeah. both teaching Brothers classes and now and, and are doing a great job with uh -huh. it. Um, uh, for me, she lives next door to me. Does she really? Yes. You know, she's, she's about to, to have a little, be, a little bit of I see it every day, yeah. walking her dog. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're doing a marvelous <laughs> job. For me, when, when the maestro passed away, it, yeah. was, it was time for me to go out and apply what I'd learned. And uh, I, I stopped taking the class at that point. Only uh -huh. I, couldn't, I couldn't find a replacement for Harvey. He was, he was like my daddy. And... Um, he taught me a great deal, uh, as did David, and I think a lot of it showed up in this film because the film really was basically an Im improvised, even though it was a very structural improvisation, yes. it was an improvised film, and we did write most of our own lines in cahoots mm -hmm. with one another, and uh, what Harvey taught me came in very, very handy mm -hmm. in the filming of this film. Chris, I mean, I always call you Chris. Now I look at Chris. Don't look. call me Jennifer. Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer, <I'm there. laughs> Jennifer, tell me something. What would you tell the young actors and actors out there when, the, when they come to Hollywood? You know, you grew up here, both of you. What would you tell them? To get into a good class, to learn their uh, craft. To learn to craft. Definitely. It's so hard now. It really is so difficult now it is, to, for it? people it's to... It's not like the old days. No. It's, it's one thing to have the talent, I think, but it's another thing to be able to speak the language. Well, but the thing is, too, is that in any other profession, I mean, yes. whether you're a pianist or a dancer or anything like uh -huh. that, you train. You you always rehearse. You prepare, you, you yourself. prepare yourself. You're always rehearsing, mm -hmm. constantly stretching, constantly growing, and and I think that actors need to do that too. Whether okay. it's a class, they have to every now and then. Yes, yeah. they've got to keep that tool sharp. And you have to that tool has got to be sharp. You right. have to exercise it to the point where where your technique becomes instinctual. Yes. Where you don't have yes. to think about it anymore. You learn it to where you can instinctive. Oh, she start. She's starting yeah. again. I'm only doing Look that because you did that to me. 
on the air. <laughs> God, she's incorrigible, this girl. She really is impossible, impossible to work it's with. It's your fault. Impossible to work with. It's your fault. But I love her. Chris, you know something sitting here looking at you, both of you. You, you seem very happy and you're very content, but you know, you're, you know what you are. You are know you are Chris Lennon, an actor, and you know your limitations, and you know you have your own individuality. I see it. You're not your dad. You are Chris Lemon. Oh, sure. Same as you, Jennifer. I see that. I see mm. it in both of you people. That's a lovely and it's, it's, Thank it's you, it's just, yeah. it's a, And you're a marvelous pianist. Are you going to play, uh, do any concert around at all? Do you ever do I know, yeah. I, I have, but mostly they've been on, on like benefits or things, you okay. know, or, or uh, for the Hollywood Bowl, for the AIDS benefit. We'd, we'd, I well, played some. Nice. And, and, you did uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, one for my dad for the variety clubs. Um, okay. But no, I have not been invited by anybody really to perform my music professionally. I would be more than happy if anybody would like me to. Yeah, uh, anytime he sees a piano in the <laughs> Oh, he's sure. wanting to do it. Right on, yeah. You do, con you love concert. I mean, I mean, oh, the yeah. classics. Oh yeah, the classics. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's wonderful. He, he really is. is. Yes, I, I've seen him. Thank he's you. He really is. Do you, you play? Oh, nice. Do you do any you singing nice. or dancing or anything? I like used that? to dance a lot, and you I used to sing in the shower. Yeah. But she sings a lot while she dances. Right. <laughs> That's one of the lines from the film. Tell me about Julie Andrews. I, I, I hate as people ask you that all the time. No, I don't mind talking about her at all. I just, you know, she's such a. I love her. I think she's an amazing lady. She really is an amazing lady. And people are, f are funny about her because they, a couple of times when we were on this promotional thing, people would say to me after interviewing her, she's so nice. And I'd feel like saying, well, what did you think? You know? I mean, she's not all sugar and, and spice. And, you know, I mean, she'll, she swears and she uh -huh. gets down and That's all right. that. I mean, she's right. really a, a real earthy person. And I'll tell you something that she is the glue that keeps uh, my family together. Mm -hmm. She really is. Yeah. She's a, very a nice. what a yeah. great lady she is. She really is very special. And boy, it's fun to be in that household when she's singing in the shower. Oh, yeah. Quality. <laughs> is, is it difficult growing up with your dad as, as some at moments? Is there any difficulty as around the house? Tell me, well, Chris, no. I mean, or is he just like any other father? father <laughs> well, yeah, when I, when I whip him at golf, he gets mad. That's, then, he, then he's very upset, and he starts gaming me. You know, he says things like, oh, you're going to 220 yards with a five iron, not? Don't put it in the right trap. Go ahead. Hit it as hard as you can. Go on, go on. And of course, I end up in the right trap. Uh -huh. No, I, th I think a lot of times we do have a lot of, of what I would call healthy competition yeah. in our relationship, yes. and which is good because that's really the root of what I think instilled ambition in me. And for that reason, I, I thank him very much for, for having him, and which can cause a little flack, uh -huh. you know, um, uh -huh. every once in a while, especially when I beat him in golf. <laughs> or when, I catch, when I catch bigger trouts, I have beaten him. I beat him once. He, he usually whoops me. Uh-huh. <laughs> but no, we have a, a really wonderful You'd relationship. You like to fish? I, I love to fish. Yeah, we go up to Alaska. As a matter of fact, as we mentioned in the film, we go up to Alaska every year and, and fly fish, uh, uh -huh. catch and release fly fish uh -huh. for rainbow trouts. And we catch them and lift them very gently out of the water, take a picture with them, and then Those let them go. flies must be really easy to catch, though. <laughs> in tiny flies? Oh, Alaska, tiny it's, it's flies. wonderful fishing up there, fly isn't it? Fly fishing, flies are easy yeah, to catch. Yeah, I she went a long way for that one, folks. <laughs> <laughs> she likes a little comedy in there, doesn't she? <laughs> do you That's like, a lot of fun up there. Do you like doing a little comedy? Uh, I love com in comedy. Oh, yeah. yeah. In fact, the, the last film I finished is all, I mean, it's very physical comedy. You know, I do Pratt Falls uh -huh. and everything. Uh -huh. It yeah. really is. It's, I, I had an opportunity to read the script because I, I was I was up for one. Yeah, she did. She she recommended me for one of the roles, and unfortunately, I'm too tall to play Mark McClure's brother, so I, I didn't end up doing it. But it is a lovely script, and Mark she is McClure. perfectly suited for it. His brother. Now tell me, Mark McClure is that Doug McClure's son? No. No. Okay. Because no. he has a daughter right now. Doug Mark, McClure yes, has a daughter, a yes. rock and roll singer. I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Tiny or something like that. Something I interviewed yeah, her that's one right. time. She's very good too. Yeah. Oh. Really, she's quite good. I had him with her. Yeah, both together. He's it's always nice, nice to hear when, when another star's kid is doing good. You know, <laughs> for some reason, it's sort of many. like you know, you're putting one in there for the gift. Many, <laughs> many. I interviewed Christian Brando. Uh, Marlon Brando's wow. son. I had him on the show with Christina Crawford mm -hmm. and about a year oh, ago. It was a kind of an interesting show. Yeah. I had Christina I and him. So. Yeah, it was a very interesting show. I, I did that, and I had Robert Morris's daughter. Oh, oh the little really? Robin. Yeah, she's He's adorable. An old friend little Bobby Morris. Mom's, as a matter yeah. of fact. Pardon me. Bobby Morris is an old old friend of my mother's. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Your mother in there. Yeah. yeah that's right. Well, <laughs> she should call him. Hi, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know something? It's so. Delightful having you two here today. I'm really, uh, oh, I'm pleased so to have two Hollywood talented, talented people. I mean, that grew up here in Hollywood and really not. You've seen a lot of changes here in Hollywood, you two. 
Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> for the best or for the worst? Tell me. Uh, well, and, I, and I, this is, is going to sound really trite That's right. and everything, but I think after That's Life, you're going to see a lot more changes in Hollywood. Just the fact that these kinds of films can be made and and uh, families can work together and nepotism shouldn't be poo-pooed mm -hmm. like it is in Hollywood. I mean, for and God's uh, sakes, when I buy a piano, if it doesn't say and sons afterwards, I won't get it, you know? Mm -hmm. Steinway mm -hmm. and sons, well, it must be or better. Or the office office the same name isn't eight well, times over. the biggest movie right now that's Money Maker. It's the simple little movie about children that's kids. Right, what stand by me. Stand Based by on me. Stephen King's well, uh, look story of the body. That yeah. is one of the biggest, and so this is really the next movie. I really? hope. It really is. I think so. That's what the family's waiting for today. Yeah, that's, I think so. That's what it is, yeah. It's too much violence out there. Rumbles and, and sex and all that. We don't need it. We've had it. Right. Let's experience about well, life. Society love. is too violent. Oh, I think so, Chris. I really do. There's a lovely, lot of lovely people out there, religious people and nice people out mm -hmm. there. We like that, and they like families, and, and a little loving, and going to meetings and stuff like that. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. they're... Mm -hmm. I yeah. think you two will bring it to the screen and show it to us, right? Oh. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's hope. I think Me so. and my sis. <laughs> you and your sis. But it was enjoyable We're having you two today, I must tell you that. Thank it was you. a good fun working with you two. Oh, when you worked, I mean, how's about in the movie? Yeah. You two oh, enjoyed yeah. it? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh we Definitely. always, yeah, it's a pleasure when we can work together. And your dad, working with Blake Edwards, I mean, uh, He's, he's, I mean, oh, it, like was, it was really, you know, about two, two and a half weeks into the filming, we realized that this was, was an ideal situation, mm -hmm. and we might as well really literally pick up the ball and run with it. We, I never had more fun in a set in my life. It well, was I'm going to go see it. Good. Very, very soon. It opens here when now you say? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? 26th. 26th. And I'm definitely 26th. going to go see it. it Nationwide opens. October 10th. Nationwide October 10th. 10th. Mm -hmm. With Jack Lemon. Julie yeah. Andrews. Julie Andrews. Oh, boy, am I it's going to see it. And it's That's Life. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need, something like that right now. Yeah, Good. So. Hollywood's got to... I'm glad Hollywood's realized something. And to Blake Edwards has already brought good movies to us. Yeah. He really has. Yeah, yeah. Entertaining. I movies. only hope now that the Academy recognizes that this well. year as well. That's um, completely my opinion, but I really hope it's true. I hope that the Academy finally recognizes the genius of Blake Edwards. Entertaining. Entertaining. Just you don't have to be great as long as you're just entertaining. Simple. That little movie Stand By is a simple movie, but mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Yeah. It's a wonderful movie. That's all it makes. Yeah. So I'm very happy to have you two here. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Much. Thank you very much. You're Steve. very, very nice. Oh, I really you so nice. thank you. You made Hollywood looking at Hollywood today very, very good for me. Oh good. And I'm very ham I'm very anxious to I'm very anxious to um, see that other movie of yours. Great. That's coming out. It's called The Perfect Match. Perfect Match, and your movie is called Weekend Warriors. Weekend Warriors. Yeah. Who's in that? It's myself and Lloyd Bridges. It's a Lloyd Bridges, story and is there a girl in that role? Oh, there are all sorts of girls in that movie. Short, tall, big. Short, okay. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, I want to thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Skip. You're welcome.